So what's up guys, uh, welcome back. How are you not doing now? Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. In this video, I am assuring you, some of you, that you guys are going to cash cruise and learn a valuable lesson from this video. Yeah? So this video is packed. For those of you who want to cash cruise, you're going to cash cruise. For those of you who are really, really serious, there's a video in this video that I'm going to talk about that will teach you a really valuable lesson. So the entire video is packed. You will cash through, you will get angry, and you will enjoy yourself as well. But first, let's talk about whiskey part. Whiskey it was kind of like pressured by a lot of Lagos to buy a car worth 1.4 billion naira. So it's a complicit story. Uh, you know, a lot of Lagos posted about this Ferrari, apparently worth 1.4 billion naira, Nigeria currency. So after a lot of Lagos posted it. Another person posted it that Whiskey has officially possessed a car that looks exactly like the car a lot of Lagos was talking about. And as of yesterday, a lot of Lagos was exposed by one very known, renowned uh, millionaire who deals on private jet, who sells private jet. A lot of Lagos. Uh, promoted a private jet. He said it was worth sixteen million dollars. And meanwhile, that private jet was just overhyped. That private jet was able worth close to ten million dollars. Overhyped private jet. So the man already exposed the law of Lagos. That one no concern a lot of Lagos. A lot of Lagos live on hyping, hyping too much prices and everything. You should buy them. There's somebody who might decide to buy that uh, jet now for sixteen million. A lot of Lagos will make billions from that transaction. So forget those kind of talk. A lot of Lagos to to keep continue doing what is doing. Hide them if I miss them. I will send out on two hundred million US dollars. So however, we are not talking about that. We are talking about the car. So this guy bought this car for the sum of a uh, uh, whiskey. Bought the car for the sum of one point four billion naira. And honestly, I do not know if that car is bought close to 1.4 billion naira. But a lot of Lagos said it's worth 1.4 billion naira. So I'm going to do more research on it and check if actually the car worth 1.4 billion. But whether it worth or you know what, oh, we already know whiskey is capable. Whiskey is capable on the buying that car. Nobody say you don't get money, you get money rich, they buy that car. Man, 1.4 billion, 1.4 billion naira. Child, that is about if you want to convert it, that is more than 1 million US dollars. That is like 1.2 million US dollars. That is one, that is like 1.2 million US dollars. But apparently, that Ferrari don't reach that kind of amount. But again, this is how it is. You know, when normal artists are brought by cars, eh, it gets directly transported to their house with, without any extra cost. Then you'll be paying uh, some other sponsors small, small charges. No extra cost. But if in Nigeria, entertainer, in Nigeria, only in Nigeria, buy car for abroad, the transportation down from abroad to Nigeria, that one will cost money, depending on the value of that car. Then apart from that again, the custom duty. So if you buy, the, let me say that car is worth like eight hundred thousand US dollars. Before it they get down to Nigeria, eh? Go down to Nigeria, go go go. That car will don't increase value to one billion or one point one billion naira or one point two billion naira, depending on the custom duty. Cost of the collect like 20 20, 20, 20 percent. 25% to 30% on a car. If you buy car one era, they'll collect 20% of that car, of that value of that car. So you know how much you calculate. And before you know it, what your love of Lagos said, they talk, eh, might be entirely be true. So that is why when a American artist buy one the one car and a Nigerian artist buy the buy same car, Nigerian artist buying that car, the same car has way more value. Has way more value than that America artist who buy America car and just pack up for your house. Nigeria artists they try because it's not easy. 
we do not manufacture anything and we still buy all those expensive cars. You know, you know how much it takes to transport a car down here. So big up to whiskey, the whiskey just spend money anyhow. He and Bonner Boy just the tear. This one will tear, this one will tear, this one will tear. So it's only David Doe that is relaxed and every other artist relaxed. So guys, so let's move past that. Let's talk about uh, the video that I'm talking about. I want you guys to relax, watch this video very well of a of a Nigerian man in UK who takes who took extra precaution before meeting with a white woman. It might be a joke, but we have been hearing many many stories about so 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 things and that, this and that, this and that. Please watch and learn. Be wise. Majority of all those Nigerians where they are accused for abroad say, Oh, they don't uh, uh, rape one get do this thing. It might be lies. So I'm just saying. So please, brother, be wise. Be wise. That guy might be joking, but he's passing a really nice message to young guys out there abroad, to young African guys out there abroad. You have seen numerous news of how Nigerians, other African nationals, are arrested for for something that they do they don't they do not know nothing about. They just simply took a girl home, and tomorrow, boom, the girl will start accusing them. So this might be a way for you, you know, just meet your lawyer to draft you some uh, few uh, papers. So whenever you meet a girl, just ask them to sign, please sign and uh, take a video and everything to make sure that she's not under the influence of alcohol, to make sure she's, uh, she, she was the one that gave permission. If it's possible, sir, eh, you might able to record the whole thing in the bedroom if that's possible yeah so that whenever the girl leaves your house the next day she won't go to police because there are some agent of devil white girls out there that are just waiting to put you guys in trouble so please be careful you guys might take it as a joke but he's passing a great message uh, he's passing a great message that guy is safeguarding his life and please safeguard your future as well. Don't get caught up into unnecessary mess that you do not know anything about. And before you know it, you start bringing disgrace to your family, disgrace to your nation because of uh, you decided to enjoy yourself. Oh, there was a guy the other day who who has who had barely spent uh, like six months in UK. He was arrested for similar stuff. There was another guy. Well, please, please, just be careful, huh? Just be careful. I really, really appreciate that guy making that video. It might be a joke, but please do not joke with your life with all those white girls. Even black girls, all of them, don't joke with your life. You are not in Nigeria. You are not in your country. You are in another mass country. So whenever they say you did this, before you know it, boom, you are in jail. Before you even start saying, oh, I, I didn't do it, I didn't do it. You're already in jail. The police might even help them to write a very perfect statement. Whenever they come, they whenever they come to that station, the police will help them to write a very perfect statement to indict you. So please be careful out there. Yeah? Be careful. That's a really valuable lesson. A valuable uh, something that you should put in back of your mind. And meanwhile, let's talk about Charlie Puppy. 
Shelly Poppy decided to visit his state yesterday. Uh, Bini, Edo State, and then he met with his mom and his dad. One thing Shelly Poppy said was that, I love our I love how they welcome him in Edo State. You know, we should welcome our musician. We should also hype our musician as well. Most especially Shelly Poppy and Rema and every other musician upcoming that is coming from Edo State. You know, we really appreciate you for bringing Edo State to that map. You know, so the thing is that, eh, the thing is that Shelly Poppy wrote something when she was when he was arguing his mom. He said. His mom was the reason why he's hustling. His mom is the reason why he's hustling. You know, I keep saying this. I keep saying this. Men do not get appreciated enough. Men do not get appreciated enough. We are being cheated on a daily basis. We are being cheated on a daily basis. We too, we have emotions. We should, we too should be regarded mostly in the family by our kids who have grown and they have made it in life. They should still recognize that we contributed massively in their life. We paid school fees while their mom were carrying them in their belly for year, for months. We were also carrying them in our head. Our parents were carrying us in their head. How to provide, how to provide medication, how to take your mom to the antenatal, how to do this, thinking on how to be make your future great. But men do not get appreciated. That's why they say, man, blessing they heaven. Men do not get appreciated enough. Huh? But all the same though, because me as a then, I was see, I was still behaving like Sally Pop. It's not associated with taking off your mom. But when I decide, when I grow up and I know how it feels, how to be a father and, and the rest, I knew, man. See, I knew it from the start that men, uh, oh God, may God bless you guys. You guys deserve too much, but we do not get recognized for it. We do not get recognized because we believe, say, who did Bele? Now I'll carry you for Bele. Now I'll be the ultimate. Carry me for nine months. What about the. the what about the father that carried you for 18 years or for years through schools? Your father will be carrying you in, in his head, thinking. That's why they do not last. So I'm making a claim for men. I will always, always make a claim for men. We need to be appreciated by these boys, by these children who do not, who, 